Hmm? I mean, you never know. The universe has a kind of way of uh, working these things out. The universe? Yeah, like the uh, the cosmic space gods. Space gods. Did you heard me? Okay, spell it. It's nothing to spell. You know, we're cool. Oh, so cool. We are super cool. <gasps> so she dumped her ass, huh? Hi, Emma. Hey. <laughs> okay, this is, um... You've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, be a lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will ya? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. Hey, what are you, uh, what are you listening to? Before they knew it, the whole place was up in smoke. Good to know. Hello? That's fucking rad. Uh, Whatever, man. Jake, bags, focus. Jacob, go upstairs. Jacob, get bag. Caitlin moves on with her goddamn life. Are you guys gonna help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's Dylan, come it's on. broken. Dylan, please. I can't. It's. it's I gotta get the last bags in there. Come on. With this thing, it's just. Dylan, frozen. please. Sorry, bro. Cool. Thanks, guys. <sighs> Dipshit's bolted it. Really? place like this. It's like a goddamn Bob Ross. <sighs> oh, skill. Ugh, horror. 
I hate horror. All right, got the bags. Great, all by yourself, huh? Yep. Guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Oh my god, you are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? Oh, okay, so now I'm the one who's not telling the whole story, huh? <laughs> Oh, well, this is the bait I just gotta take, Jake. Oh, oh sorry, I just got so distracted about that rhyme, I forgot what we oh, were- Oh, no, 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 uh, you were telling me how you totally have a thing for Ryan. Wait, are we talking about Ryan, the sailing instructor with the sexy brooding loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all? Sexy, huh? How to set camp by far. Okay, sure. Uh, look, it was all settled by the girls in bunk seven, like second day of camp. It goes Ryan, me of course, then Dylan, Emma, Abby, okay, Nick, and then Mr. H. And... Okay, are you almost finished? Please. Yep, that's it. That's everyone. So she really just dumped her ass, huh? I don't. Okay, her whole thing. Is like, how are we gonna make this work? Different schools, blah, blah, blah. My whole thing is like, you know, maybe long distance, blah, 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 blah. And she was just like, Jacob. She gave you the look, huh? Yeah, do not pass go. Man, she just got you wrapped all the way around that dainty little finger of hers. How does she do it? No, oh, but I mean, seriously, come on, she's right. It's just like a stupid summer fling. What else did I think was going to happen? Uh, let's see. Uh, love, stability, engagement, marriage, house, kid, affair, kid, divorce, loneliness, child support, visitation lawsuit, mm. surprise reconciliation, emptiness, retirement, grandkid, 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 a uh, nursing home, and finally, dying in each other's arms and then being buried in each other's arms like those thousand-year-old skeletons they dug up in Rome or something. That kind in the ballpark? Oh, shit, I'm sorry. That was Ryan and me. Uh, let me see. Ah, here it is. Yours just says Roadhead. Oh, actually, that's just a generic all-men list. Well, that seems legit. <laughs> Okay, so are we sure that this old rust bucket's roadworthy? <laughs> we'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, if it doesn't kill you, it will make you stronger. Well, I haven't killed you. Yet. And you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up! <clears throat> uh, okay, so, um... Total hypothetical, but if I was like a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like an arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Jake. You do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, Chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. Guess we'll just have to find out. Come on, 
with me, buddy. I'll put you right back tomorrow. No harm, no foul. Up here, my dudes. Why did they look like they're up to something? Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please. D d d d long. Oh, Nick! Boom. Oh. oh. There it is. Oh, Ooh. man, good sight. Ooh. Freak. Oh. Ooh, I wish I had some singles. Ooh. Freaks. I'm surrounded by freaks. <clears throat> oh, thank God. I'm gonna get the whole no technology thing, but take me back, world. You would have thought Mr. H could have, like, charged up our phones, like, a little bit. Nothing's ever your fault, is it? <gasps> you know, you should really just save it for emergencies only. <laughs> Unless, of course, is being dumped <laughs> an emergency? Oh, Ben. Uh, okay, well, at least I had a relationship this summer. Ooh, damn, now we burned. Yeah, well, maybe not everyone is looking for a hook. Okay, 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 let's all put our little dicks away and get this show on the road, huh? Where's everybody else? Why, why would I know that? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't, I don't even know how to respond to that. You say, Nick, you're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any cheeky ones. Okay, yeah, keep German Junior. Hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. Oh boy, you're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito-infested backwoods dump. Doors locked, bags inside. <sighs> Fuck me. Yep. Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. And by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. Okay, let's do it. We better not get into trouble. I won't tell if you won't tell. Mr. Hackett's gonna find out. So what? I'll just think it was a bear or something. Have you ever seen a bear in these woods? No, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. Fair point. All right, let's do this. On three. One. Two. Three! Ugh. Mm. All about the power of positive thinking. Why do I ever listen to you? Because I'm always right. Are you sure they're gonna think it was a bear? Oh my god, relax. It's not like we killed someone. All right, well, I'm just gonna take another look around, make sure we didn't miss anything. Go nuts. This place be in the news. Actually, gonna miss all those lumpy loose springs. Oh, 
Aw. This was little Izzy's. I want to play a game. <laughs> yeah, you can probably just stay here, you creepy little thing. It's gonna be weird not waking up to Dylan's morning announcements. Ready to roll? Let's do it! Finally! Time to let loose and vamoose this caboose. How are you so... Dramatic? Annoying. Confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. Nah. <laughs> 
too late now anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. Uh, whoa! Eyes on the road, lady. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, so hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud? Kind of like you and Jacob. He's actually really sweet. Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. We're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, sure. But that's us. You and Nick could be different. Why don't you get his handle? Hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. Oh, hold up! Oh, uh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp? We should really get back. Boo. Thumbs down. Everyone's waiting for us. Nick isn't gonna leave without saying goodbye. Shit, Abby! Oh. Too close. Sorry, squirrel dude. My girl here is on her way to ask a guy out for the first time like ever. Emma! <laughs> Couldn't let her squirrel out of it. I am going to throw you out of the cart. I deserve that. Don't worry, Jacob. I got you. I got a full tank of gas, so... Oh, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is like Patchy's balls. <sighs> Your balls are Patchy? What? No! <laughs> it's okay, I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Uh, you? <sighs> hey, Nick! Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. Just gotta get these bags up on to the... Oh, hey, hey, here. Let me, um, let me get it for you. I can take care of my own bag, thank you. What? Are you sure? Because, I mean, it's really not that big she of a deal. She can take care of her own bag, thank you. We can both take care of our own bag, thank you. Cool. Uh, uh, Abby, do you need... Yeah. Can I... Thank you. Has anyone seen Ryan? Oh yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little me party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast. Nice, that's cool. What's it about? Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? Think I was listening to a podcast about you? Okay, if anyone here had a podcast about them, it'd be me. Yeah, if there was a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. Oh my god, you are so childish. At least I don't look and smell like a butt. 
<laughs> no, it's a, it's a paranormal podcast. Th- this episode was actually about this place, weirdly enough. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The who of the what's it where now? What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking them ass? Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's uh, Quarry. Oh, can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? It's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um, there's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. There are, like, reports of whispers or whatever, and then this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son or kill you or something. I don't know. It's never really been clear. Anyways, Haga Haggett's Corey. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. Cool story, bro. Seriously, though, you should have seen the first time he told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. I mean, not for life. <laughs> you gotta be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, dude, bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Yeah, uh, nearly done, Mr. H. Well, up to it. Get those butts in gear. Sorry, Mr. H. You had to liberate some luggage. Shut up. Maybe if somebody didn't spend so much time trying to press the ladies' ball as ghost stories. You asked. Ghost stories? The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh! <sighs> hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. But you know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. Come on, that's like super unchill. Hey, dude, man. I'm like the chillest flipping bro in the whole world, man. I just need some tunes for the ride, man. <laughs> All right, that's enough. Five minutes? Like, like, five minutes, that's all I need, man. You said no, Dylan. Okay, yeah, I know, but I was just... I'll meet you at the van, okay? So, uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh-oh. I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, no, it's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing w with the... Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Hello? Kids are kids. You only do so much, your boat. They're almost out of here, all right? You're cutting it pretty close. We don't want to have. Just hold your damn horses, all right? Everything's a okay on this end. Bobby and I are geared up. If he's in the area, we'll get him. This is a waste of time. You know what? I know it. No, should I have? He's gone quiet. Try staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's gonna take me to get rid of these damn kids. Yeah, of course. Adios. Sorry, I, I wasn't. I wasn't listening. I, I was just like waiting. Like I mean, I heard. I. Uh, I mean, I was. I didn't hear what you were. Saying. We're cool, champ. Just. Come on, it's sorry I pushed you out like that. You, uh, you need a hand looking for the keys? 
Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy, you know. Anyway, you were asking me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. Right. Y you know, whether or not I should, like, leave my sister with my grandparents, since I'd have to live on campus, you know, and my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, right? Dang it. Is everything okay? You got a hot day tonight? Oh boy. If you only knew. <laughs> So, uh, what, what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. But, do you know how many calls I get from parents, letter after letter, with these terrified kids that they send home? Huh. I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. So, maybe just... He's up on the ghost stories. Yeah, it was just a fun story that weirdo kid told me last month. Hey, there's no weirdo here. At Hackett's Quarry, everyone's their own brand of cool. You cancelers gotta be the responsible ones. Keep the kids happy. Keep the kids safe. So knock it off. Yeah, of course. I mean, we are. Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Why? It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. And safety is the first step towards fun. Just give me a minute. Where in the good goddamn are they? Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? He's sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off-season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? Actually, could have used the help packing up since we were short-staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. Right where I left uh -huh. him. Let's skedaddle. Make sure they're all ready to go, for real this time. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You sure to turned it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good. Because it's time to dwell in the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it, let's go. What's the problem? Ugh, oh, dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. All right, let me try. 
What, dude, I'm telling you, all right? It's busted. Well, maybe you're doing well, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. The fuck, dude? Enough. Enough, both of you. Shit. Come on. All right, Come dude, on. Chill. Chill, Let's go. dude. I'm Damn it! I thought I told you kids to check everything. But we did. It, it should be working. Yeah, well, coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is, does it? Damn it! Okay. Okay. Well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. Okay. Damn it. You're right. You're right. Yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. Hey, Brian. Come here for a sec. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning. And we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll stay inside. And a boy. Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down. So, what was that about? He, uh said to stay inside, that we're not leaving until the morning. Are you kidding me? Am. Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. We could go inside until morning. Yeah. Or, or we could do something else. No, 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 no. We should really listen to what Chris told us to do. Of course. Uh, who cares what Chris told us to do? He's not our boss anymore. P-A-R-T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. Oh, dude. Fuck yes. I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man. Caitlin? I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. M, what do you say? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He was just trying to freak us out, you know? Like, um... Like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? I don't think he was trying to freak us out, Jacob. I think he was really freaked out by something. Jesus Christ. Chris seemed real serious about this, guys. Just say you're in, man. Come on, one last night. Yeah, dude, he won't even know. I, I promised. I no, 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 dude, dude, it's all good. All right, we get it. You know, you, uh, you don't want to disappoint Daddy. Yeah, well, someone's got to give a shit. Oh. You know what? <gasps> I don't even care what you guys do. Oh. I'm doing what Chris <laughs> told me to do. 
Ryan, come on, man. Wait. All right, all right, all right, Hacketeers. Party planning committee, let's do this. Um, okay, first things first. Nick and Abby, you will get some firewood. Uh, M and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones for something. All right, let's do this. I was hoping you'd come back to me. Let's see what you've found. Empty-handed. You need to look around you, find my cards, and I can help you. Where I'm from, we look out for each other. Find them, please. You'd better be going. It's still early and the moon is bright, but time won't wait. Not for those with a story to tell. Be careful. Look out for yourselves. And look out for my cards. Stranded in the great American wild with nothing but our wits to guide us. Will humanity prevail or will we grow ravenous and resort to eating the flesh of the deceased like I saw in that one plane crash movie? <laughs> First course, filet au Jacob. Rich and full-bodied, this rare beefcake may leave an irritating taste lingering on the palate. An acquired taste, some would say. Well. What? Looks like you're trying to thread a needle with a packet of loose sausages. Oh my god, I'm almost done, okay? Jesus Christ. And for the record, your analogies are very hurtful. Okay, I'm almost there. One second. There we go. And Viola. Uh, Your hair clip, madam. Yeah, uh, you can keep it. It's not too shabby, huh? Yeah. I like a man who's good with his hands. Yeah, well, they call me Mr. Magic Fingers. <laughs> no, they don't. Okay. So, if I were a beer, where would I be hiding? Beep, 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 beep. What beep, are you doing? Beep. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's my beardar. 
Helps me dar for beers. Huh. How am I just noticing how super lame you are? What? But it... It's my beard art, dude. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna go over here. Wow, the kids really wiped this place out. Mr. H loved his accessories. Hmm. Think it's locked. Don't know what I was expecting. Oh. Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> oh! Jackpot! Hey, uh... Check out my giant melons. Oh. See? You just cut a hole in it? Mm-hmm. You pour in your vodka. It's party time. You just, you pour the vodka right in it? Yeah. It's the most fun you could have with a hole in watermelon. Or, well, second most. Okay, I'm gonna leave you two alone and go look for some more party supplies.